Ultra Mega Classic owners, fantasy football fans, what is up? Welcome to another year of the Ultra Mega Classic 2013. I want to thank everybody who showed up to the draft. It was a really great draft. I only had two guys not show up. And pretty, those guys, I'm pretty sure they told me they weren't going to be able to make it. That's okay. We had a great draft. I hope everybody got some of the players that they wanted. Um, couple things. Okay, number one, the schedule. Pay no attention to the schedule that's up right now. I'm going to be changing it tonight. Okay, here's the deal with the schedule. Everyone is going to play the people in your division twice. Okay, so you're all going to play the, pe the people in the ultra division. You're going to play everybody in the ultra division twice. And then you're going to play uh, some other random opponents uh, out of your division. Okay, throughout the year. All right, so that's how the schedule is going to go. Um, and to get to the playoffs, uh, we have our three division champions. Okay, those guys are going to the playoffs. And then we have three wild card teams. And those wild card teams are the three teams that are not division champions with the best record. Okay, those are the wild card teams. Um, I'm going to get back to you guys on how we're going to handle ties. Okay, we did uh, super fan cards last year to handle ties. It worked out pretty good, but it was a lot of work for me. I don't really want to do that this year. Um, we'll see. We will see. Maybe we'll keep on doing the super fan cards. I don't know. Uh, last year, nobody uh, nobody collected all 32 super fan cards, so that was kind of a bummer. We're going to do something this year. I don't know what. We're going to do something, and it's going to be uh, what we handle our tiebreakers with uh, for wildcard teams' uh, records. So that makes sense. Anyways, so that's basically what's going on with that. Uh, I'll get the schedule to you guys tonight. Um, super fan cards out. We're going to do something new this year to handle uh, record ties uh, for wild card playoff spots. Um, what else can I tell you? Okay, about the league. We've got a couple new guys. So keep in mind, this is a PPR league. That means points per reception. That means every time your quarterback throws the ball and a wide receiver catches the ball, he gets a point. Okay, it doesn't matter how many yards he goes or if he scores a touchdown. He gets a point just for catching the ball. It's points per reception, and what it does is it makes the wide receivers a little bit more value. It puts them more on an even keel with the running backs. Um, it makes your tight ends a little bit more valuable. It makes uh, your running backs who catch the ball out of the backfield a little bit more valuable. Uh, so keep that in mind. We're a PPR league. Okay. Other thing to keep in mind, uh, notice you guys noticed uh, you drafted a head coach at the draft. Okay, the, the head coach is pretty cool because if you're in a really close head-to-head -head, uh, fantasy football uh, game, it's a head-to-head -head match, it's really close. If, you win, if your head coach wins, you get two points. For a tie, you get one point. Okay, if your head coach's team uh, wins by, I think, a margin of 25 or greater, you get, he gets five points. So just, you know, the one, two, and the five point little thing that the hedge coach can bring you, sometimes that really makes a difference when you're in a head-to-head -head match and it's very close. So the head coach is like a small little thing that can make a difference in close matches. So keep that in mind. That's a little different for most fantasy football leagues. They don't have head coaches generally. So that makes us a little bit different. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Our quarterbacks score uh, six points per touchdown. Okay. Also, I think minus two points are taken away every time your quarterback throws an interception. So keep those things in mind. The quarterbacks are a little bit more powerful. They get more points per touchdown, uh, but they do get uh, you know they do get negatives for uh, throwing throw. They get they get negatives for throwing interceptions. So keep that in mind about the quarterbacks. Um, Kickoff return yards and uh, punt return yards. We've got a guy on special teams who's really good at run backs, like uh, Devin Hester. Gets a lot of uh, gets a lot of uh, special teams return yards and stuff like that. Uh, this league gives points for for special teams return yards. So that means if you got a guy who doesn't do a lot at wide receiver, but he runs the ball back a lot, okay, he could make a difference. You could you could pick him up off the waivers as like a wide receiver. He can make a difference. He's going to be scoring points because he's getting a lot of return yards. So those kind of guys can make a difference in this league. So keep that in mind. Um, I think that's about it for the big changes. But, man, definitely go check out the scoring system for the Ultra Mega Classic. Uh, I tried to make it a little bit different, a little bit unique. Um, 
and it's going to be cool, man. I hope you guys have fun this year. We're going to have a great time. Uh, I see that we, we did the poll over there to make it a, a pay league earlier this year. Uh, that didn't. That looks like nobody really wanted a pay league. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, I think I personally would still like to give a plaque or a trophy to the champion this year. We'll see. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. I, I've already lined up the, the place that I can order it through, and it's it's pretty much set and locked in. I'm just waiting for a champion, and we're going to have it made up and sent to them, whoever the champion is. Uh, I think it's important to have something like that because it's not easy to win a fantasy football championship. It's very difficult. People might think it's stupid. People might think it's uh, dumb to put in so much effort uh, for something that means nothing. But the fact is, we do put effort into it. Every single year, we bust our asses to try to win this uh, elusive uh, fantasy football championship that really doesn't mean anything, uh, but just our competitive nature comes out and we just want to win. Uh, we can't win at anything else in life, so we win at this. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but we definitely try really hard for like the next five months. We're all like trying to win this uh, this title that really doesn't mean a lot, but it kind of means something to us, doesn't it? So anyways, uh, we try really hard to make it happen, and I want to award uh, the person who wins this year, you know, with like a plaque or, or a little trophy or something, you know, so... That's definitely coming this year. I'll do a video uh, on it. When we get on into the season, I'll do a video showing you guys what I have in mind. Um, but it's early. It's early for that. You know, we'll talk about that in you know, a few weeks. But uh, definitely keep in mind, we're going to have a plaque or a trophy this year for the champion. Uh, and I'm excited, guys. It's going to be a great year for fantasy football. It's going to be a great year for the UMC and I'll catch up with you guys next video. Peace.